everybody for staying with us. This is Newsline, and we're talking about whether you should take this year's flu shot because it's been combined with uh, the swine flu shot. Um, now, uh, Dr. Chu, uh, as I said uh, in the beginning of the show, Dr. Chu Cheng Sheng, uh, you have uh, an alliance called the Anti uh, Flu Alliance, alliance mm -hmm. and, and a group of doctors have gotten together to promote the use of. Uh, uh, flu shots to, to promote flu shots this year. Uh, Dr. Loving Lock, a former legislative counselor, is saying that uh, no, think twice before you do it. Uh, we were, were discussing the first half of the show about whether the pharmaceutical companies are promoting uh, that people should take flu shots. And, and Dr. Lowe was giving the example of the swine flu shot, which has now all gone to waste, and but the pharmaceuticals made a lot of money. Uh, are you not worried that uh, people will look at you and say, you have been aligned to promote flu shots, but you're helping the pharmaceuticals. Yeah, basically the alliance is not promoting the flu shot. His alliance is promoting anti-influenza through various, say, the, the methods, just, uh, including the order, including the healthy and hygienic lifestyle. One of the, say, the method is uh, the vaccination, which is recommended by the World Health Organization and over, all over the, <coughs> the governments in the, uh, all over the world. And the, we are not worried about the, uh, say the commercial industry because the, the, whether the, there is their concern or interest. Whether they make money or not is not, it's not our interest. Our interest is in, in human life, in health of the population. Even one single death prevented by the vaccine, we consider it's worthwhile. We don't speculate others' interests or others' benefit. We just like to reduce well, the morbidity. You need to explain your interest. You have yet to be completely honest. As what commercial interest is we behind no, this health magazine? We have no image. How can you have no information? Because you are speaking for a pharmaceutical product. You are speaking for what no, measure? We are speaking for influenza, uh, influenza measures, including vaccination. We are not speaking for influenza products. No, but be very honest. If we promote healthy lifestyle, good personal hygiene, would it attract any commercial sponsorship? It won't. You have to be a very discreet product that sells at maybe 10 US dollars per shot. So I believe that this could be the interest. And yet, Dr. Chiu but hasn't given but Dr. Chiu yeah, is any answer that yet. He's not getting any benefit from this. Oh, well, why? I've never. How, 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 I've never. <laughs> How can you say that he isn't getting any benefit? For example, if we promote really vigorously the vaccine, I appear on so TV. So more people go to him to take shots. That's, no, that's interest already. I, my colleagues already overbooked. So I mean, it's a personal data. So don't worry. The more I come to promote the vaccine, the more I lose. Wouldn't it be better, uh, Dr. Chu, uh, to allay any concerns? Yes. Uh, Dr. Lowe is saying that your anti-flu alliance mm -hmm. is sponsored, you say, by a health magazine. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he is saying that behind the health magazine Maybe some must be some ph yeah. pharmaceutical yeah. companies mm -hmm. yes. that have a vested interest in promoting flu shots, right? Health, yeah. So wouldn't it be better, and you say your interest is only that you want people to be healthy, mm -hmm. you don't want them to catch yes. flu. Okay, fine. Wouldn't it be better than if your alliance declares that uh, all the doctors uh, and other people who are promoting the taking of flu shots this year will do it for free or at a discount or well, donate the money to some health concern. I think that the, the, uh, the Center of Health Protection is already say, they're given the quite a lot of subsidy to, for people taking the, the vaccine. Whether the, to say the doctors are doing it for free is another me measure. I can't uh, say that the problem. How many doctors are in this alliance? There are eight all together. Just eight? Yeah, all, uh, well, actually seven doctors and one pharmacist, There's a, including a, an oncologist, uh, say endocrinologist, a cardiac specialist, a uh, respiratory specialist, and also the, a, a geriatric The cardiac designer. specialist is not going to go and give a flu shot to people, no, right? He's a heart surgeon. No, he's a, heart, uh, he's a cardiologist. He's taking care of, say, the people with chronic heart right, diseases. Right, right. And the, the, this group of people has the highest risk of developing complications. Yeah, so, you know, uh, Dr. Lo, they, they, they don't have an interest. I mean, the pharmaceuticals may make money, but it's not going to go into their pockets. Well, I, I, don't, I don't think so. And I have mentioned one, uh, this, uh, you know, getting more patients to receive a vaccine. Now, even though doctor claimed that his clinic is fully booked, now, not only claim, you have, been to, you have to be seen how to be really detached and aloof 
from this interest. Now, just claiming you can't do so. And this is the but what's very, wrong with doctors saying everybody should take a flu shot to protect well, themselves from flu? They have to base on their claim on information, on data that is supported by scientific evidence. But yeah, the well, well, is well, I mean, it's, but well, the government is promoting flu shots, so you're saying the they're wrong too? The government is promoting flu shot year in and year out. Now, I, I, I can explain to you why this kind of activity, promotion, that has not been seen in the previous year, happening this year. Now, last year, the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry has been doing very well because of the sales of the swine you know, windfall for one year. Now, they have target to meet. Now, how about this year? Now, the world is looking at the flu vaccine and anti-flu products uh, with some weariness and uh, worry about are the claim really true? So they have to do extra work to promote. And as a result, there is this yeah, I mean that promotion effort going on all over the world. It should they are not doing good sales this yeah. year. And that's why they are very, You've got very to make some profits tar, a profit target. No, tar 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 yeah, this is they, they have a strong degree of urgency. I mean, from the, our alliance point of view, you said that the, even the government is promoting every year. But they don't promote just because they promoted last year. This is not the reason they, why they promote every year. The reason why is that last year we had very bad coverage of the protection because quite a lot of people were say, that misinformed about the safety of the vaccine. And the, the, the reason why we like to, the alliance want to, is give a proper education. Did you there take the swine flu shot last year? Yes. And you took the regular flu shot as yes. well? Yes. Did you take any of the shots? I didn't. Neither I didn't. one? Neither. Are no. you going to take it this year? No, I won't. And are you going to take it? Yes, certainly. As doctors, we owe it to the public to ask questions. What really happened with the swine flu? How about the exaggerated claim? How did it occur? What interest is behind it? Rather than reciting information from some of the experts who have been shown to be taking money for a long, long time for the pharmaceutical industry. I don't think the now, CHP is taking money. No, I, I, I'm not <laughs> the saying the CHP. CHP I'm saying that the CHP is being affected by world opinion. <laughs> and the world opinion is very clearly formed by experts who has been taking money year in and, and year out well, from the pharmaceutical industry. I think industry. the Center of Health Protection is clever and sensible enough not to be just pushed by the, the, the commercial well, industry. You know, I've, got, I've got five minutes here. I, I, I'll declare my own interest. Yes. Last year, I took uh, the seasonal flu shot mm -hmm. in Hong Kong, and then I went back to the U.S. Uh, for Christmas, uh, and I couldn't take the swine flu shot here because it hadn't arrived mm. yet. Uh, but then I went and took it in, in a clinic in the U.S. Uh, so I took both the flu shots last year. Uh, and I'm kind of wondering whether I should take it this year. I've always taken this, uh, the, the seasonal flu shot. Uh, but uh, in, the, in the remaining few minutes, I'll go to you first, Dr. Chu. I think this is a personal decision. Yes. Whether you take the shot or not is very much a personal decision. Some people will worry that there are after effects. Others will say, this is nonsense, as Dr. Lowe said, this is only to help the pharmaceuticals. Yet others like yourself say, no, 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 uh, this is going to improve the health. Uh, it may stop an epidemic if more people are immune to it. They've taken the shot, they're protected. It will stop. So it's a personal decision. How would you advise people out there watching to reach that personal decision? Yeah, actually, that uh, we're I fully agree with you that it's a personal decision because we have to balance the risk and also the benefit. Say for some people, the elderly people, they, when they have the chronic lung diseases and heart disease and the, the, the chance or even diabetes, the chance of having uh, say the, the complication from influenza and even death is much, much higher. 50 or even 100 times higher than the general uh, say the uh, normal population. So we just tell them the, the risk and that ask them to also to balance the benefit. So young children, say one of our alliance member, he said that, that, that he supported it, not because of benefit. He said his own child last year did not take the vaccine and developed the febrile convulsion. His child is so young. Developed what? Uh, the convulsion, generalized oh, chishing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they live in the hospital for seven days. So he declared every year, he's going to take it. I mean, that there is a personal decision. Sure, it's personal. But the, the, the experience, that, that, I mean, as doctor, we can say it just on data or statistics. When you are a parent, 
then you worry. You are worried you about your worry. child. Well, I'm going to ask Dr. Lo. Uh, how would you advise people to reach a personal decision on whether they should take this year's flu shot or not? I believe that people should ask why. Now, before listening to Dr. Chiu, people should ask why. Dr. Chiu, is your group taking any any money he says from the no. pharmaceutical industry? Is a sponsored health magazine? In any way, taking any money from the pharmaceutical you industry? You have no to all the no, questions. No, no. I mean, did he, 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 he doesn't know about what's the commercial interest behind. Now he has to work out who is sponsoring the health magazine to sponsor his group. But the now, alliance is interested only in the health now, of you, people. You, this is but your the claim. the group is not receiving any money. No, no the group is none of the members receiving any commercial. Now, but this is only a none. claim. He has to be seen to be completely detached from ph pharmaceutical industry. He has to answer the public whether the health magazine sponsoring his group is in any way taking any money from the pharmaceutical from industry. The he owes us an answer on you this. Don't, you don't have an answer we, to that. Well, well, it's difficult. Yeah. I mean, that is that we want well, to declare if, if you are that we do not receive any commercial sponsor or any benefit. I mean, even if the commercial companies say gaining money, it's the, the gaining of the health of the people. Gaining of the pop, the now, now your answer is. And, I mean, it is the gaining of the uh, government. I mean, it's a win-win-win. Your what answer is is difficult. It's I've got difficult. Seconds. And he couldn't say no, definitely no, categorically no. He said it's difficult. I mean, so he difficult. hasn't. I mean, definitely he hasn't no answered the question yet. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to have to let the viewer decide whether yes. we should yeah. take mm -hmm. the sh uh, shots or not. So you go home and you stay home and you think about it and you decide whether you'll take the flu shot or not. I'll see you next week. Good evening.